how can you illustrate the key points in your presentations so that people feel the implication of what you're saying, not just think about it? Well, the answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. One of the biggest challenges for most presenters is that they present good information, but they do it in a cerebral way. It doesn't connect to the heart or the emotions of the audience. Consequently, people walk away from those presentations uh, th saying things like, well, that was interesting, that was good, but they're not motivated to act because they don't feel the implication. How can you overcome this problem? By creating memorable moments. Here are a couple of examples. A financial individual or an economist could talk about the United States debt, which as of the time of this recording is about 22 trillion. That number is so big, it's unimaginable for most people. What if instead an economist said something like this? Imagine, when you get home tonight from work, there's an email from the US government. Attached to it is a bill an IOU, if you will. And the bill is for $69,278. That is the impact of the U.S. debt on each individual citizen. $69,278. For most American citizens, that's a big number, and it shows the implication and the amount of money that our government has spent that we don't have. Another illustration comes from Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates. Since retiring from Microsoft, Bill and his wife, Melinda, have become very active in helping uh, eradicate disease around the world. One that he has championed for many years now is malaria. In a TED Talk from 2009, Gates stood on stage and did something very interesting with mosquitoes. Now, unfortunately, for copyright reasons, I can't include the clip in this video, but I'm going to give you the link. Watch what he does around the five-minute mark with the mosquitoes. Here's the link. Did you notice what happened when he released the mosquitoes into the arena? There was nervous laughter. And he waited 17 seconds to inform the audience, oh, these aren't infected mosquitoes. What Bill Gates did that was so brilliant was that he set up this particular action by giving the background on malaria and talking about the fact that mosquitoes are the, the cause of the spread of the disease, but then he allowed the audience the experience of feeling that momentary fear that what if those mosquitoes in this room have malaria? He wanted those individuals to feel what it is like in these third world countries where malaria can spread and often does because they don't have proper health care centers or they just don't have the, the, the uh, sanita uh, sanitary situation that we take for granted in the Western world. Mr. Gates created an experience that uh, that audience will never forget. That was much more powerful than facts and figures in showing the spread of the disease on a global chart. If you want your audience to feel and have that experience, create it for them. Give them those moments, whether it's turning big, uh, unrelatable numbers into small bite-sized chunks that people can relate to, or find your release the mosquito moment that allows the audience to feel the impact of the message you're trying to convey. We'll see you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.